oh hey, you must be the camera crew they hired to follow me. I'm Pat, I'm the product design engineer at SEDEX, and today is a big day because we're gonna be designing our first three-dimensional part. We've got like a small presence in the gaming space, so we're really trying to expand our portfolio, and hopefully this new product really changes the game. Hey, no puns. What do you mean no puns? It's in my contract, I can make puns. Now let's go. So whenever you're making a new product, I like to set some goals you can see here for the product, some things you want to accomplish. Uh, the first one, we want this product to fit every PlayStation and Xbox controller. That'll really make us stand apart. We want it to feel the best. We really think our friction technology will make a big difference when people are gaming. Have a recognizable shape so you know it's SEDX when you see it. And make money and you can see that the dollar signs are in green because that's what money looks like. What's this list over here? This one, no, 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 not this one, don't film this one. Creativity is like lightning. You can try to predict it, but you never really know when it's gonna strike. Excuse me, I've gotta be somewhere. So then our thumbstick grip will go around this, basically like this. And our fibers would go here. We just need to figure out this dimension and this dimension. You can tell we need to figure it out because there's question marks there now. trying to spark creativity, sometimes it can help to take a really long walk. But at a startup, you don't have that kind of time. So you gotta kind of make do with what you've got. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I wish I could just take all these designs from my computer and just hold them in my hands so I could see what they look like in real life. What's that? The three D printer, of course. I'm so glad I thought of that. I can three D print all my designs and see how they look in real life. I am the best engineer ever. What I did was I used SolidWorks to take my existing thumbstick designs and flip them. So now I've got two halves of a mold to make the outside and an insert to make the middle where it's gonna hug the controller thumbstick. I'm gonna use this 3D printer to print three molds at a time to quickly run through the design. After that, I'm gonna pour soft silicone into these molds so I can simulate how this product is gonna look and feel on the thumbstick.
that was it. One really great thing about this printer is it moves very fast with this material so we can make rapid iterations. And while we wait for everything to print, we can work on other projects. All right, so our parts are done. You can see them hanging out in here on the bed. So what we do is pop open the cover, pull the bed out. Our molds are right there. What I'm gonna do is pop them off and clean them. Then we'll be ready to go pour in the silicone. Now that we got our molds, I'm just gonna fill them up with this silicone. This is some Molmax 40 that I mixed here in our lab. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna fill each one of these molds up with it. And then we're gonna let them sit overnight so they can cure. Now that a day has passed, we can crack open our molds and take a look at the silicone. Now that we've used our 3D printer to figure out what we want the design to look like, the next step is to figure out what material we want to make it out of for mass production. That'll come in a later video. And until then, you can check out this product and all of our other great products on statixgrip.com. See you next time.